fellow, fellow folks. My name is Mr. Toad. Welcome back to Frog Facts. Did you know that frogs are particularly good at jigsaw puzzles? <laughs> that is true. Hello, lovely people. My name is Emma. I bought another frog puppet. I mean, how could I not? Today we are going to be talking about the multi-level marketing company Pure Romance and this has been on my to-do list forever. Very pleased to be finally getting around to it. If you haven't watched any of my videos on multi-level marketing before, basically what I do is I give a little overview of the company and its history, we take a look at the website, usually we take a look at the products, that's going to be a bit tricky on this one. We have a look at the compensation plan, the business opportunity, compare some prices, and then we look at some reviews. I split it all up into chapters so it should be nice and easy to go back and forth and find the information that you want. I've been meaning to talk about Pure Romance for ages because it's a bit like Anne Summers. It's one of these companies where it could and probably has actually done quite a lot for female empowerment and then sort of ruins it by being actually really harmful. On that note, I am super excited to tell you today's video is sponsored by a company that actually helps women. This video is sponsored by Intermina, which is a fabulous company which makes, among other things, the Lily Cup Compact. This is my one. <laughs> it's so cute. If you've never tried a menstrual cup before, I was in exactly the same boat. For some reason, in my head, I imagined them being like a giant funnel, which is obviously... <laughs> Not quite. The Lily Cup is made of 100% medical grade silicone. It collects more than the average tampon, which means less time running to and from the bathroom, which we all love. Most importantly for me, it's reusable and so, so much more eco-friendly. Another cute thing that I really like about the Compact specifically is that it folds up into this little fun disc, which, okay, this is probably the wrong thing to say, but it kind of makes me think of like Uzumaki spirals. But the important thing is, it means it fits in this tiny little carry case and then you've got this tiny like this tiny cute package that is super discreet and really easy to carry around with you the thing i really like about intermina as well is it's not just helping the planet saving you money and time with the actual products but they do loads of really good educational resources and they're really dedicated to helping decrease the stigma around periods and women's bodies in general if you put it on your head it looks like a unicorn horn please do check them out there'll be a link in the description better for you it's less effort it's so much better for the environment like i said i wasn't familiar with menstrual cups at all beforehand i did a quiz on their website which helped me learn a lot of stuff, like how to measure your cervix. Uh, and it told me exactly the product that I needed. And then there's loads of really helpful information on how to use it. So there's no point where you're like, what am I doing? Please do check them out. Help us try and end some period stigma and aim for more reusable, eco-friendly product usage. Check out the link in the description below. It really is perfect to have a brand sponsor this video that revolves around women's bodies and trying to end stigma. So I'm loving it. So Pure Romance. Pure Romance is an adult toy company. It's an MLM, it started in the US, I believe in 1993, I thought it was 2000, it was in 1993. In 2003 it renamed to Pure Romance, that's right. In 2017 they claim to have more than 30,000 consultants, they've bought a couple of companies, a couple of MLM companies that sold similar products and worked a similar market. All their products, unlike something like maybe Avon where you'll see some things in stores, all of their products are sold exclusively through consultants. They were very big into home parties. <laughs> I know people who have been to the home parties and it's the sort of thing where I'm sure it's a lot of fun, but generally awkwardly buying the cheapest thing, in this case it's probably like lube or something like that, is still very awkward. We're gonna start off by taking a look at their website. We are gonna look at some of their products. There is one product in particular that is a big part of why I wanted to do this video that I think is very damaging and relies on old stereotypes and seems just really counter to the sort of, at least what they on the face of it have as the point of the company, which is empowering women and being open about women's bodies and women's pleasure. But we're going to have to be careful looking at the products because obviously they sell sex toys. And this is YouTube, <laughs> so I'm gonna try and avoid anything phallic. They sell like bath products and stuff as well, so we can have a little look and compare some prices of a few things. I will also say usually we would take a look at some social media posts as well. I'm not gonna do that today because it's all sex jokes. It's just, it's all <laughs> sex jokes, which again is fine. It's kind of one of the sort of nicer things about it that it is encouraging women to be open about talking about sex, which is good, but it's not very 
YouTube appropriate or useful for us. Just if you want to look in your own time, just look at the Pure Romance tag, it's fine. So here we are on the Pure Romance website. One of the things I think is fun about this one is that before you even get to any of the products or anything, you've got join for as low as $99. So overt. <laughs> New standard wellness partner packs. I don't know what that means. So we've got, we've got sex toys. I guess I'll just, I'll blank one square out. You can take, take it from me that that is the sex toys ones. They do wellness products now, which is like a whole, I guess this must be a new, um, a new thing. Bath and shower products. Yes, they have, uh, they have products called Coochie and there are a lot of fun memes about buying and selling coochie online which mildly uncomfortable but it's fine join our community that's an interesting way of saying um buy a starter kit you be the boss flexible schedule it's the same language as every other multi-level marketing company and then there's some uh you know instagram photos and hashtags at the bottom party for perks subscribe for deals there's a quiz that says discover the right sex toy for you happy national sex toy day i am just gonna quickly click on brain health boost okay we're gonna start with them um... okay that's weird that just I, I clicked on a specific product and it took me to like the overall product page i was trying to click on this particular pro okay no so it looks like they do okay well just because of this is where the website led me we're going to start with the products okay we're going to have a quick look at the products so i'm really interested to see that they have just started selling supplements if you saw my video on the the bog dirt the whole bog dirt shenanigans you probably know and i've mentioned before as well you probably know how i feel about health and wellness companies and supplements particularly ones based out of the us especially when they're MLMs. I really loathe it. They are just always so massively overpriced. Although, you know, I guess I can't say that until we look at here. So again, I guess I'm gonna have to cover up a square. There's sex toys, there's bath and shower. They've got skincare, they've got beauty and body, lubricants and creams, and now wellness. I'm scared. Oh, they do essential oils as well. So it really looks like Pure Romance is trying to corner all of the MLM markets. I've seen that with a couple of other MLMs. Arbon did this. Um, what's the hair one? Monet? Monat? I, I pronounced it Monet last time because I'd always been told I was getting it wrong and then loads of people told me that Monat was actually more correct. So I'm gonna go back to saying Monat because it's just better and more fun. Um, Monat, which is a hair one, started selling like wellness products and stuff as well. It seems like all of them are trying to diversify into just, we're at this point now where all of these MLMs just sell the same things and they're trying to compete to be like the one MLM that you need. Oh my god, essential oils for $32, reduced to $32, $42 for a rollerball essential oil. Okay, let's just, let's just go onto Google and let's have a quick look for essential oils. Look, there's a massive collection from Amazon for 20 quid. quid. It's a whole gift set. 32 10 mil bottles for 33.99. What is the size of the Pure Romance? Um, what's the size of the Pure Romance bottles? Oh, these these are 10 mil. Okay. Hello libido and be kind unwind. Oh my god, there is nothing an essential oil can do for your libido other than maybe help you de-stress. That is funny. <laughs> Hello Libido essential oil. Yeah, you can get a pack of, what was that, 32? You can get a pack of 32 essential oils, probably higher quality, exact same amount, loads of different nice scents for like a few quid more than this one essential oil. So they do essential oils now and they're massively overpriced. So there's that one. So what else do they have in the wellness then? So they've got essential oils, they've got brain health boost for $60. Fuck me, I really hate, I'm sorry, I just really, the health and wellness ones just really fucking get me and I wasn't expecting pure romance to have gone into this area so I'm like totally unprepared to have been annoyed by this. Sharpen your smarts and get everywhere you want to go in and out of the bedroom with our brain health boost. Fuck off. CBD products, that is very common in like health and wellness stuff. Again, it can be useful. You can get it elsewhere much, much cheaper. That's all I'm gonna say. CBD infused bath salts. My mum tried some CBD bath salts a little while ago. I need to ask her how they were. I'm hoping the ones she got were not $79 though. At the very least, their health and wellness uh, section is not massive. Conditioning shave cream, $22. You can save, oh, 220. I thought you were saving 20 cents, but you're saving $2.20 if you subscribe for these. These are still expensive, but you could get other products. You could get equally expensive shave cream from other companies if you wanted, so 
we're kind of gonna leave that alone. How are there so many different types of shave cream? Body oil for $22. Again, it's more than I would spend on body oil, though it's not it's not atrocious. Bubble bath, $22. It's okay, it's okay. Shampoo and body wash, $22. At least the pricing seems fairly consistent. Beauty and body. There's some crossover. There's some crossover between the sections, which is making this a little bit complicated. Basic instinct, sex, attractant. Attract all the attention you desire with basic instinct. This roll-on formula reacts to your body chemistry to create a fragrance that's unique to you. Basic instinct is unisex and layers effortlessly with your favorite lotions and scents. Roll it on your wrists, behind your ears, and over other pulse points to enhance your natural allure. Pheromones create a fragrance that's unique to you. There are zero reviews. I'm gonna have to look this one up. It's coming up with studies about insect pheromones, so I'm gonna have to be more specific. Does pheromone perfume actually work? By the healthy. You may have seen advertisements for pheromone perfumes or strays that promise to make you more sexually attractive. They work, but perhaps not in the way you want. You should look to see if there are indeed human pheromones, as some are made from dog or pig pheromones. These would only be effective on dogs or pigs. As always, I'll put everything in the description down below, all the sources. This is Charlotte Anderson interviewing Sean Talbot, who is a biochemist. And Talbot says, it's unlikely that many of these products are using the real deal, but even if they are, they, the effect would be very subtle. If someone's already interested in you, pheromones may help deepen the attraction, but they work best when they're your own pheromones, the kind produced in your bodily fluids. You should also know the benefits of a pheromone spray mostly only extend to the person wearing it, says Talbot. Real pheromones can have an effect on people who are already emotionally close to you, but chances are small the kind you find in a spray will even reach a stranger, much less make them become attracted to you. Studies done on pheromones usually had participants either having the chemical put on their skin or holding it in their face and smelling it. Basically, the long, of short, the long and short of that seems like pretty much any other essential oil or health and wellness product, which is it can make you more relaxed or feel better about yourself, which can help your libido. So pretty hokey. The uh, suggestions made by the company are kind of an extension of reality. $32, I would say, is definitely a waste of money for this product, but it's not too bad. So we've got more body lotions, body lotions, truly sexy flirt. They're all called things like that. Sweet fantasy. There's those $80 bath salts. Okay, let's take a look at lubricants and creams. $40 for CBD infused. Mind you, CBD stuff tends to be more expensive, I think. I think that might just be because it's popular right now, but I don't know for sure. Excite Mint. That's quite a fun name, actually. That is quite a fun name. Prolonging Cream. Oh, this is a product I've seen online that actually, um, I've seen like super dodgy social media posts with this one. Make oral sex as enjoyable for you as it is for him. It's basically a, a muscle relaxant. It's not a particularly unusual product. I can't find the social media posts to actually show you, and I appreciate you might not just want to take my word for it, but people have made some very dodgy posts about um, the throat relaxant. Basically implying these kind of slightly hilarious old stereotypes of like, give him head so he'll take you shopping. That kind of thing. This is the other one I wanted to talk about. This is the main one I wanted to talk about and the one I mentioned at the start of the video. This is vaginal cream. It's called Like a Virgin. I did a whole video about the fact that virginity testing is still a thing that exists, particularly within certain religious communities, and how it's absurd that it still exists and it should be illegal because, as much as most of us here believe that it doesn't matter anyway, it's also impossible to prove because the state of your vagina before or after you've had sex for the first time, irrelevant. It's not gonna change. It might change a bit as you get older, if you have children. Most of us, I hope, are aware that the age-old myth of a virgin's vagina being one way and people who have had sex as vaginas being the other way is completely false. So the fact that they are still selling, and this is years after the first time I saw it, the fact that Pure Romance are still selling like a virgin and advertising it like this, like a virgin makes it feel like the first time. It's tightening cream. It worries me. I don't know if it's a good idea. I'll look it up in a minute so that we can know for sure. It concerns me because what it does is it makes, it makes the walls of your vagina contract for 24 hours, which seems, I don't know, that seems concerning to me. The reason advertised by Pure Romance is so you feel tighter to him and he feels larger to you. Oh, this is very uncomfortable. This is very uncomfortable. The only reason, and it, like I say, I'm sure most people watching this already know this, but I'm gonna say it anyway for posterity and just for having it in the video. Most of the reason that people with vaginas are tight their first time is 
nerves, not enough, um, not enough foreplay, basically not enough experience to be comfortable enough and or spend the time to let the body naturally prepare for penetrative sex. So the first thing I've found when I've searched this, the recommended article says vagina tightening creams are frauds, don't put them inside your vaginas. I'm going to also open a health.com because I trust that slightly more, but I'm going to look at this article. False advertising preys on insecurity, damn that's true. Mary Jane Minkin MD, I know of absolutely no cream that would tighten your vagina. Dr Minkin says anyone who claims to see results from a product like that are likely experiencing a placebo effect. This article also suggests that if you want to tighten your vagina postpartum then kegels is something you can do. The only other thing that can truly tighten the vagina is surgery, but that should be reserved for extreme cases, like when a woman has given birth to multiple large babies. So health.com says no. Doctors we spoke to say the benefits of these creams are non-existent. First of all, there is no loosening of the vagina from normal sexual intercourse. Thank you. A lot of times applying these creams could end up causing itching, irritation, or trigger some reaction. If there's some strong substance in it, it could be even worse. Generally, generally the advice is don't put weird stuff in your vagina. That's kind of self-explanatory. I mean, like, products, like soaps and things, you're generally not supposed to put in there. I was basically right. It could be a little bit harmful in the sense that it could cause an allergic reaction or something, but it definitely won't work. If it does, it's part of a placebo effect. The main thing that this product has done, outside of just being false advertising, is because of the nature of the company and how the products are sold, it sent so many women who are consultants out there to spread and share this idea that we were just starting to shed. You know, we were just starting to finally shake off this myth that a virgin's vagina looks like this and somebody who's had sex is like this. We were finally starting to brush that off and now, thanks to pure romance, people are spreading it everywhere again and being like, if your vagina isn't tight like a virgin, your partner's not going to enjoy sex with you as much. It's so disappointing, again, for a company that is sort of purportedly out here to empower women and make women feel good about their bodies. This product particularly, such bullshit. Really always makes me mad when I see it and it must be if it's not one of the most popular ones, it's one of the ones I've seen shared the most. So, okay, fine. I think that's enough of the products for now. Let's take a look at the joining page. We can now join for as low as $99. Again, I've clicked on join and it's taken me to the product page. What the fuck is going on with the Pure Romance website? I swear it's fucking broken. I'm gonna click on join at the top, see if that works. Yeah, that works. Over 50,000 women began their journey in 2021. Join a global, ever-growing community of entrepreneurs. Joining a bo business in a box company, paying $99 for a box of products and some leaflets. That's not entrepreneurship. I'm sorry. It's not your fault if you joined one of those companies. If you're offended by that, I'm very sorry. It's not your fault. It's them telling you that you're an entrepreneur. You're not. You have no, you're not a business owner. You're not an entrepreneur. You have no say over the products. You have no say over the prices. You have no say over anything because it's not your business. Connecting others with life-changing products and living their most alive. Pardon? Start your journey with our partner packs. Each partner packs gives you a chance to sample for yourself and fall in love. Sample for yourself is a weird way of saying it when you sell sex toys. And fall in love with the products you'll market or introduce to others. To the best of the best from Pure Romance and earn income. I just feel like either my reading comprehension is super bad today or I feel like all of this isn't written very well. Standard partner pack, deluxe partner pack, become a US partner, become a partner in Puerto Rico. And then there's a little video, what is Pure Romance? Let's have a look at this. Yeah, whatever. Unrivaled benefits. Jumpstart your business with the Inventory Advantage program. More stock. Look at that, the very first point is them encouraging people to buy stock. You can't make this shit up. Sales and discounts, weekly commissions, trips and rewards. We know for a fact that most of those trips, the bulk of the stuff that you have to deal with, like hotel rooms and flights, are not paid for. The rewards are always garbage compared to the money you've actually given the company. Flexible schedule, that's what every MLM says. Confidence boost, development, professional guidance. Professional guidance. We help guide you every step of the way with words from our CEO, company executives, and top partners. Tweeting once a week or something is not professional guidance. Start a life-changing journey with us. By becoming a pure romance partner, you'll be part of a worldwide community, blah blah blah. Live more alive. Do I need sales experience? I bet the answer's no. Almost all partners begin with no sales experience. How much can I earn? 
That's entirely up to you. Market saturation plays no part in it. Neither does the state of the economy, your experience as a salesperson. It's just down to how much effort you put in. So if you fail, it's your fault. It's just all of these, <laughs> all of these MLMs are exactly the fucking same. Will I really have the time to be successful at this? Since the typical, the typical party takes three to four hours. I could not go to a four hour dildo party. Is there a minimum I need to sell? At least a hundred dollars at retail every two calendar months. The good news is this is easy to achieve. You can accomplish it by placing retail orders. The hundred dollars is before your discount. So if you're at 30%, you only need to spend $140 or through website orders. So you can just buy products and stay a partner. Just buy loads of stock. Do I need a lot of inventory to be successful? It's not a requirement. What we do know is women are impulse buyers and the more they can take home the night of the party, the more they will buy. Does that feel vaguely offensive to anybody else? I think it's a bit rich to be like, it's not a requirement, but we're going to recommend that you do it here at the very first point at the top of the page, probably in like the training information. Sponsoring and helping other partners sell products allows you to take advantage of the bonus program, including monthly bonuses, sponsoring perks, and more. Sponsoring also increases your buying discount. You'll receive access to a partner-only website that contains training resources to get you started before your partner pack even arrives. I feel like that's a coded way of saying it might take ages to arrive. <laughs> You'll be able to attend local meetings hosted by expert partners, plus regional and national training events designed by the Pure Romance Corporate Office to help you succeed. And I bet they're really expensive. The earning potential associated with earning a, owning a Pure Romance business, again, it's not owning a business, it's not remotely owning a business. The earning potential associated is open-ended. However, it is impossible to guarantee that a particular level of income can be earned because of a number of factors, including your personal goals and amount of time and effort you choose to invest. Just like the last company I looked at, and let's be honest, the one before, and every MLM company, the factors that affect your income that they choose to point out are the ones that are entirely dependent on you. Well, what can we say? It's down to your time and effort. This is why people lose so much and feel like such failures and so devastated when it doesn't work out. See our income disclosure statement here. Yay, we love income disclosure statements. This is one of the few good things about MLMs that start in the USA, is that they have to provide income disclosure. Pure Romance partners earn income through product sales, overrides, bonus, and free product. Does free product really count as income? I wouldn't count free product as income. So the median partner, uh, interesting, they've chosen to use median. I always think it's interesting they often choose like a different way of averaging the prices depending on the MLM. So the median partner earnings are $111, which is amazing considering the average earnings of the top rank, senior executive director are $200,000. So the very top 0.1%, I always think this is worth noting, right? Because this is the top 0.1% of the company. $200,000 is a lot of money, but it's not the millionaire lifestyle that you see all over Instagram. It's just not, and that's 0.1% of the company. Most of the people that you're gonna see like online is probably like, I don't know, what's this, like senior directors, 60K a year. Again, in my head, I need to remember to try and convert dollars to pounds so I can work out what that actually is in real money. At least for the UK, it would be an above average salary, but it's not incredible. And I can only imagine how many hours that 0.3% of recruitment Recruitants. It's halfway between recruit and halfway between <laughs> consultant. I can only imagine how many hours they put in to make that 60k. 0.1%, less than 0.1%, 0.1, 0.1, 0.3, 0.5, 0 0.9. So we don't get into reasonable percentages that we can actually compare what our earnings might be until we get to the very bottom, which is pretty standard. If you're looking at joining one of these companies, you should try and real. I know it's very tempting to be like, I could go all the way to the top because this is what they tell you. You're like trying to imagine yourself as a senior executive director, but realistically, you're not going to be the top 0.1% of the company. So you should be looking at the ones that are like over 50%, at least like the highest percentage is partner, which makes sense. 54.2% of the company. This is including 33.9% who are inactive, right? So 54.2% average total earnings, $351. This is for the year. The average total earnings earnings data is net of kit purchases by partners. Kits include products and marketing materials partners may use to run their businesses. Partners have to use to run their businesses. Remember, you can only join from $99. We'll look that up in a minute because that's important. I'm just going to whip up a quick, uh, a very professional quick notepad doc so I can, um, so I can take 
take note. Ooh, I nearly gave them, <laughs> I nearly gave them three and a half grand, which would be much better. And then 33.9% earned $62. It's just fucking, it's nothing. It's not even like, okay, $351 extra a year. Nobody would turn, we wouldn't turn our noses up at that. But for doing like three to four hour parties, spending so much of your time posting online, hosting, trying to get friends interested, messaging people for $351 in a year, net of your original purchase costs, net of any costs of products you buy yourself, remember, that your earnings and your profit can include personal sales. So that could be 351 of your own dollars. I'm just here to remind you that it's not worth it financially. At the very least, forgetting everything else, it's not worth it financially, not remotely. It is worth it for the people above you. Those are the only people you're making any kind of income, the people way up at the top. You're not being your own boss when your company has a millionaire CEO. So it's a pretty depressing, um, <laughs> it's a pretty depressing income disclosure for, even for an MLM, it's pretty, fucking tragic. There's somewhere I can find information on the starter kits. $99. The deluxe partner pack is $279. It's a shame there's no way for us to find out what on average people buy more of. I would guess the standard pack. So let's assume people are spending $99. That's then down to $251 a year. I think we have a very big problem with how people value their time. I think that when we're employed on a salary, it's much easier to say, okay, I'm earning this much per hour. Is that reasonable or not? When you're working for yourself, you should be applying the same rules, right? It might be a little bit different because you are more flexible, but really, your time is still worth money if you're working. I just can't conceive of any any amount of hours that people would realistically be doing that makes $251 a year worthwhile. I just can't picture it. Oh, you get 10 catalogues though. 10 catalogues and 10 order forms. A free 90 day trial of the media center. So you don't even get the media, for the $279 deluxe pack, you don't even get the media center. You get a 90 day free trial. All right, well that blows. It doesn't look like I can access through the Pure Romance website, the compensation plan. So I'm gonna have to find if somebody else has shared one. It's interesting that they would make the shitty income disclosure public, but then not bother with the compensation plan. Cause the compensation plan is the bit where they can personally big it up and try and make it sound amazing. Okay, yeah, this is the training website. Thank you, um, person who I'm not gonna name because I don't want anybody to go and give her trouble, uh, but thank you to this person for putting this online so that I can actually find it. Downline. Oh, they actually use downline as their terminology. That's really interesting. They often don't do that either. The consultants you sponsor are your first downline. Yeah, okay, so they're explaining that. I, j I mostly just want to know what the commission is to start with. I know that you get a, okay, as a consultant, you get a 30% buying discount. Lifestyle bonuses? What is your actual commission? What is the sales commission? Am I crazy? Please tell me in the comments if I'm just like missing something. All right, let's try just Googling the commission. <laughs> Why is this so hard to find? Is it really shit? Your commission is based on the price the customer pays for the retail value of the product. It looks like it's, it relates to your buying discount. Oh look, it says something on Glassdoor. 40 to 45% starting commission they claim. The page I was just on said 30%. You pay tax on the retail and shipping. Yes, we can charge our customers $7 shipping on every order, but when you're trying to build a business, it's hard to tell someone they have to pay $7 shipping to get their $20 shaving cream. Good point. Too many consultants available, shipping is outrageous. Okay, I think that's the best we're gonna get. I, <laughs> I, it seems like they're advertising 40 to 45%, at least that was the case in 2017. The most recent information, it looks like it's 30% when you start. If somebody has been a consultant or knows a consultant and knows better, please do let me know because I'd prefer you to correct me and it to be better than we thought. So that's that's a very easy segue then to go into reviews because um, we've ended up on Glassdoor. So we're gonna actually, we're gonna go back and we're gonna look at product reviews first of all, okay? So this is from Trustpilot. It's got 2.8% average on Trustpilot. Trustpilot, by the way, I kind of trust to be fairly accurate um, as uh, like a review service. So this this one is a very recent one. One star, I bought a live, uh, this is meant to say lube. I bought a lube that was supposed to be cherry lime flavored. The moment we whipped it out, it burnt the crap out of my husband and the smell was undeniably of mint. They did replace the product, but I asked for a bubble bath instead of anything intimate as I did not trust it. I'd also used their shave cream and it left red swells all over my legs. No go for me. This next one is four star, but it's titled 
what a waste of money. I've generally had great luck with Pure Romance products. With that being said, I purchased two opening acts. The first one I bought, oh, I think this must be a vibrator. <laughs> the first one I bought would charge, but wouldn't vibrate. My consultant, who's amazing, exchanged it. Within less than a year, the other two have broken. When they work, they're great, but I'm not a waste fan of wasting money for something that breaks. I bought another toy directly from Pure Romance and had an issue, battery dying in less than 24 hours of delivery. I contacted the company who basically told me too bad, nothing we can do. What a waste of multiple hundreds of dollars on these three toys. One star, waste of money. I have this main attraction and used it two times. Now it won't charge or do anything. I've also purchased two opening acts, however they do not last. These toys are extremely overpriced, over $400 in a little over a year for garbage. Extremely a disappointment, my second opening act only lasted a month. So however they're cheaping out on the batteries of these products, it's not good. Hundreds of dollars, they're crapping out like after a month, within a year. One star, Pure Romance does not stand behind its products. Terrible customer service. Consultant stopped responding when she realised I had issues with products I had purchased. I don't mind paying for what I like, but when I pay that much I do expect it to last longer than eight months. Pure Romance Corporate simply told me to get in touch with my consultant. Never again. Two stars. Rip off. I went to a party and the host was great. Super nice. But this company is a rip off. Paid $32 for the Leica Virgin Cream. And it's only 15 mil. It's 15 mil? For $32? I wouldn't even pay $10 for a cream that small. Definitely will not be shopping again or recommending it to anyone. We're going to have another look on Glassdoor next. Two stars, former employee more than three years. Great business, very questionable team members, business owners. Pros, CEOs are brilliant and big on rewarding all achievement, not just big ones. Cons, was told by my second upline, who, <laughs> who this person has named, I'm going to blank that out, that my business was more important than my special needs child and everything in my life should come second to my business. I felt bullied at times if I didn't make as many sales or recruit enough new women. The sisterhood can be very clicky, aggressive and a lot of dodgy pra practices, but particular presidential club members in Australia. Three stars, pure romance consultant two months in. Froze, great discount on products, they do what they say they'll do. Super sweet sisterhood of women that genuinely care and help each other just to see each other succeed. Cons, if you don't get recruited by the right person, you're totally lost from the get-go. I've talked about this a few times when I went to this fucking Kangen Water secondary training company scam seminar thing. The person who would have been my upline had never made a single sale. And the guy who runs the company was like, don't judge them on their sales. There is nothing in the world to say that the person who recruits you is any more qualified than you are. Like when we looked at the unique video from corporate, it's them being like, oh, just get a friend to do it with you because it's fun and you'll learn together. But that person is also supposed to be your mentor who the company tells you to go to whenever you have any question. And it's like they, have, they are no more qualified than you are. Instead of making a profit, you lose money and there's a lot more work and hours involved than you're led to believe in the beginning. Don't make an impulse decision. Do a lot more fine print reading because it's a great company, but if led by the wrong person, it will hurt you more than it will help you, sadly. That person has some fantastic advice. It's a shame that they had to learn it the hard way, but they have some really good advice. One star, don't waste your time. Pros, new friends and learn things. Cons, don't get paid on time. Uh, this last one is from a client service associate. So this is somebody working in the actual office and the corporate side of things. It's a scam. <laughs> Pros, sampling some products for free. Again, I find the idea of sampling products from a company like, like this really weird, but it's probably just the phrasing. Cons, very low pay. Cliques, male employees are rude and degrading towards women. So none of that's brilliant. <laughs> I mean, it's worth taking all of this into account, right? That's why we look at this all. But I really think the main most obvious thing that you should look at before you make any decisions is just that income disclosure statement. Because you can just look at it, it's really simple. You look at it, you see, oh, most people aren't making any money. And then you can read some reviews and people say it's more hours than you expected and you're like, okay, well, people are making no money and working more hours. It's definitely not worth it. You don't even need to investigate further, you know what I mean? It's just it's just financially not a smart business investment. It's a waste of money. It looks like a lot of the products have battery life issues. Easy, like, look at it, go, okay, I'll stay away, you know? So that's a little overview of Pure Romance. Like I said, we're not looking at social media today, unfortunately, just because it is, like, basically 100% uh, sex jokes which is fine but you know just not really youtube friendly like i say i'm mostly just disappointed that something that could be really good for female empowerment is being manipulated it's wasting money it's wasting time and at the same time they're sharing really harmful tropes about 
what women's bodies should look like at the same time as preaching acceptance of their own bodies. It's ridiculous. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your stories if you've had any involvement with pure romance, whether that be a friend, family member, whatever. Has your grandma been posting weird sex stuff on Facebook? Let me know. Maybe not like specifically that, but <laughs> any experience you have is useful to share, including good experiences. Those two, those two, because we can definitely take good things from these companies as well. Before we go, I would like to give a huge shout out and a big thank you to my giant chickens over on Patreon. Amalgam of Neuroses, Amber, Conla, Chicken Maximus Lions, God damn it, Conla. Vulture Chair Ninja, Fulcrum, Gaming Ridge, Izzy, Joe Rowe, Lady Ray, Lizzie Gale, Mr. Creosote, Nick Hook, Ninja Red, Taxman, The Guy From That Thing You Like, Wasatch Witch, and Miles Tegg. You guys are so amazing, thank you so much. We've got a Patreon-only Discord now, which is pretty sweet. Do let me know your thoughts on this video down below. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a very lovely week. I'll see you really soon. Mm -hmm.